anti-abortion people call themselves pro-life, it's like the Nazis calling themselves bringers of mother's milk, love, and honey. The Supreme Court, in our opinion, kind of created out of thin air that right to abortion, and uh, it's been a battle in the culture ever since, and it's not going to end, I don't think. And we are so blessed tonight to have a very wide mixture of warriors for life here tonight. Protest tegen abortus neemt weer toe. 45 jaar na de legalisering ervan blijven abortusrechten omstreden in de VS. The good news in America is it's losing steam. Uh, about 60% of this culture in the US right now believes uh, abortion through all nine terms uh, or all nine months of the term uh, is immoral. And I think I think abortion rights activists are worried that the the position in the US is shifting significantly because of science, medicine, technology, 3D, 4D imaging. You can clearly see it's a baby in, inside the mother's womb. The radical religious right joined with the Republicans because they wanted power. They both want money and power, and that's what all that matters. And so they have this symbiotic relationship that has taken them uh, all this time, and they have kept winning elections, winning elections, and taking power. Right now, in a number of states, the laws allow a baby to be born from his or her mother's womb in the ninth month. It is wrong. It has to change. It is the main issue for the Republican Party and for the evangelicals, all of whom support Trump, who is uh, obviously has a life that's the antithesis of what the Christian Protestant evangelicals would, would advocate. Warren Hearn heeft al 45 jaar zijn eigen abortuskliniek in Boulder, Colorado. Uit de hele wereld komen ze naar hem. So these are recovery rooms here, okay? This is a recovery room. Omdat hij ook late abortussen so, uitvoert. So I see some patients who are more than 30 weeks, not very much, but those are almost always patients who have had a fetal abnormality and it's a desired pregnancy. They decided they just recently discovered the problem. Or, for example, a young, very young woman, a young teenager who was raped by her uh, family member and at the age of 13 or 14. And it's long, she's pretty far along before they discover that the pregnancy is pregnant. Those kinds of situations. So we do some patients uh, that are over 30 weeks, but most of them are earlier at the end of the second trimester, earlier at the beginning of the third trimester. Thanks for joining us for Focus on the Family with your host, Focus President Jim Daly. Jim Daly leads Focus on the Family, a Christian conservative lobby group. Abortus kan niet, ook niet na verkrachting. If a woman was raped, there was a crime committed. And so what we're going to do in order to alleviate or change that crime is to murder the innocent human being involved here, the baby. Um, there's so many options and it is deeply difficult, but we've interviewed here at Focus on the Family a number of women who chose life for that baby. Some kept the child, but others put that child up for adoption. And I think our position here at Focus is life is the better choice. They're not pro-life. They kill doctors, so they're not pro-life. So I would request that you not use that term because they're not pro-life. They, they kill doctors and they want to make it unsafe for women. Dr. Hearn is 79 and lived all his whole life with angst for his life. The minute I walk out, I'm not safe. So I think that, that there, there will never now be a time in my life when I'm really safe. Uh, as, when the anti-abortion people know where I am, I'm not safe. So uh, Dr. Tiller, for example, was assassinated in his church lobby. It was a single bullet that killed the doctor who for 36 years weathered massive protests, bombs at his clinic, and in 1993, gunshot wounds. But he defiantly held his ground. Dr. Tiller was a very uh, devout Christian, and his, he and his wife worked in the church. He was, his wife was singing in the choir. And um, uh, he declined security, said they're not going to bother me in church, and the assassin walked up and, and shot him in the head. I cry out to you on behalf of these unborn children. Father, I pray that you might intervene, Lord. We know that it is your spirit that changes hearts. Conservatief America is nu aan de macht. Blij met Trump. Whether Trump is uh, going to church or not, that, you know, to me, he's president. He's not priest. He's running for president. And I can guarantee you, both Democrat and Republican presidents, they do all they can to build a constituency that will get them into office. 
That is not a shock, everybody. But again, when conservatives do it, it's like, this is horrific. Why would that happen? Why would we allow it? But when progressives do it, it's just politics. It's normal. So I, I don't understand it. Het geloof is een drijvende kracht voor Jim Daly. De Bijbel is wet. Daar is geen weg naast. Let's say one of your sons comes comes to you yeah. and says, "Dad, I'm going to marry my boyfriend." Sure. I, I'll say I love you. Are you sure? Is this something that you're confident about? And then I'll tell you some great advice. Uh, as a Christian man, I would say I could be at the reception, but I can't stand publicly and give witness to the ceremony. I love you, but I'll be at the reception if that's okay. That may sound tough to people, but as a Christian, first and foremost, I have to be faithful to God. Jesus has a little children.